What's up guys, Wayne Stevenson here. Hey guys, Wayne Stevenson here and today I'm going to introduce to you the HDLRC DJI Zeus F722. The DJI Zeus F722 is a 30 by 30 stack. It's got the 722 in it. I don't know much else about this, so let's go upstairs and have a look at it. Here we are, the HDLRC DJI Zeus F722 play controller. Let's open this up. Add that to my sticker collection. Looks like they've got uh, multi-camera support here. It's pretty slick. Got uh, some LED pads here. Like RX1's inverted for S bus. An LED button. Turn your LEDs on and off, imagine. Never used LEDs myself, so I really don't know what a button would be for. Turn it on, maybe change the mode, couldn't tell you. Uh, got your uh, boot button, looks like one, two, three, four. LED pads, got uh, buzzer pads there, a couple different buzzers, buzzer LED combo, got the MPU 6000 in it, take 3 to 6 S LiPos, got uh, 5 volt and 9 volt BEC outputs, that's excellent. 16 meg flash black box and five UARTs. Uh, one's inverted for S bus, so if you don't have S bus, you can't use that. Um, looks like UART 6 for your telemetry on your ESC. So that one is probably, if it's like their other ones, don't have an actual pad for that, so uh, you can really only use it for the telemetry. Um, UART 4 is for DJI. I'm not sure if they'll have a special wiring harness for that one. Um, let's see. S bus ground. RX4. Receive and send. Okay. Doesn't look like they have separate pads for... Oh yeah, right there we got uh, R4 and T4 there. So you're not uh, not limited to uh, just using the, the DJR harness here. So that's excellent, that's good news. Wonderful. Oh, it's pretty versatile here too. They've got, uh, that's nice. They got the I-square uh, C connection over there. Uh, additional um, UART pads for your uh, TX2 and RX2 on this harness here. Um, yeah, and they've also got them over here. So you can use the harness or use something else. Okay, 
Yeah, let's open it up and have a look. Have a closer look. First, let's see, we've got a whole bunch of wiring harnesses here for uh, various JST connections. Got a couple pins. Well, what's that for anyhow? Because they don't have... I suppose you could solder them on. It doesn't make any sense though why they'd give those. I guess the idea would be to solder them to the pads themselves. That, that might be never seen that done before, but uh, I guess it would make for a solid enough connection. Buttons. Oh. That one's a little. Oh yeah, it's working. Let's see what we got here. Some extra unlabeled pads. Let's see if those are labeled on the instructions here. No, they're not labeled. They could be for programming. I'm not too sure. I'll run a multimeter on there someday if I ever get curious enough and find out where they go. They can't go too far. So that's pretty slick. Oh, nice. USB-C. I've been waiting for a USB-C play controller to come out. I am sick of those micros being damaged all the time. It's not to say USB-C isn't going to damage, but there's going to be less of a chance for it to damage. Anyhow, let's plug it in. Nice. Okay. Let's calibrate it. Looking good. Well, it says right here well, we've got uh, gyro, accelerometer, and a barometer. Ah, where's the instructions here? Because it released the wiring diagram. <laughs> um, I know the F722 Mini said that there was a barometer, a nice square C barometer, but this one, so it's got an MPU 6000, this TM32 F722 RIT 6, black box, LED, oh there, we're talking about LED buttons, short press to switch colors, Press and hold for three seconds to enter blinking mode. All right, cool. Um, yeah, it didn't say it had a barometer on this one. That's in Chinese, so that's a bonus. I actually, uh, I didn't, uh, when I was buying it, I didn't even read the, uh, the specs of this. So that's a pleasant surprise. I always like to know how high I am. Let's just double check and make sure it's... Oh, let's go to expert mode. Where to sensors. XYZ gyroscope. Let's add altitude. Let's see. Oh yeah. Definitely got a barometer on there. I thought I seen one right, uh, where is it? right there. Right there. There's the barometer. Right there. I thought I seen one. It's 
some nice work on the pads. Not a huge fan of the uh, the JST connectors, though it does make um, just make it does make a build a lot quicker, a lot more convenient. But I do find that these things get knocked loose on a lot of hard landings. So um, if you're using if you're using these and you can't use the pads, um, make sure you're always checking these for tightness. I haven't really found a good solution to keep them from popping out, so I'm always making sure that they're popped in. Um, so when you're building that, keep that in mind. Um, I always like to make sure that they're accessible to, um, usually what I have on me, um, zip ties. Sometimes you can you know, poke them in, push them in that way. Um, use tweezers or um, small allen keys but I hate sticking um, hard objects into it because if you slip you could now this one doesn't have much uh, in the way but uh, I mean, you can always slip. There's always that possibility there. I like these pads. These pads are great. Um, they're excellent pads. Can be excellent to solder. Easy to solder, easy access. Um, I'm gonna enjoy that. This is gonna, it's gonna be a fun build for these ones. I gotta get myself uh, an ESC to go with that. I might actually try out one of theirs, see how they are. Um, seeing as it can always be a pain to match up the uh, ES, ESC uh, JST plugs. Sometimes, most times, especially if you're not uh, matching up your flight controller with your ESC, you're sometimes having to repin those, and they're tiny. They can be a pain in the ass, and you can damage the pins as well. So I hate doing that. I hate attempting it. Um, don't like to do it if I don't have to. Well, guys, that's it. The HDLRC DJI Zeus F722 flight controller. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it answers some questions you might have had on the DJI Zeus F722 flight controllers. Covered what I could just out of the box. If you guys want to know more about this flight controller, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm ordering up a frame and some more motors and an ESC for it and we're going to send her up. If you like this, give this video a big thumbs up and again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.